12th in the table, 27 points, and um, yeah, things are just not looking good. This could be one last dance with Patrick Vieira. I'm really just sort of not, I'm not really confident, I've kind of got no hope. I'm just nervous, but partially just expecting a hammering. I won't lie, I think we're going to lose 4 0 today. You know, I just think this game, like I said, has come at the wrong time. A late kickoff as well on a Wednesday night. The players with 1 win in 15 surely can't be motivated for today's game and that as well. So, yeah, man. Listen, the fans got to get behind the team, but if things don't go right, the fans will turn on the players in Vieira, they'll be calling for his heads, and I think he'll get the sack if we lose today. So that's what I could pretty much say, really. I've said what I had to say over the last couple of months, weeks, say the same thing. Now i just just got to be real and, you know, just look at the team and sort of question, is it good enough? It's not good enough, is it? We're not scoring goals. Germany and I shot target in the last three games and that as well, so... Yeah, I mean, the confidence is low. This is our one last chance to try and redeem ourselves, not just for Vieira and as a club, but for the team as well. They've got to step up. You know, with players like Hughes and McCarthy missing, is there that like leadership, is there that quality, is there like that, that, that passion and desire on the pitch? I don't really know, so yeah, it's a massive one. You know, this rivalry has been going on for 50 years. It keeps growing and growing. And today is going to be, or tonight, I should say, it's going to be crazy. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough one, man. But, God, just come on. It is Brighton, of course, but listen, if we, if we lose this badly, it could be Cones, not just for Vieira, but for our season, potentially. Dad, quick thoughts before this massive game. Oh, well, they're not good, mate. Um, <laughs> well, we all know the precarious position we're in and the crisis at the club at the moment. Um, you know, listen, I'm hoping for the best tonight, but, you know, it's difficult to, at the moment to be optimistic where Palace are concerned. Yeah. Not a shot on target in the last three games. Um, so, you know, it's, I'm hoping it, it, it goes well, but I'm, I'm, I just think my gut, my gut feeling is is that, you know, I think I think Vieira won't be our manager this time tomorrow. So, yeah, yeah sack him instantly if we get hammered as well. Yeah, I, well, I, I think they'll sack him tomorrow if, he, if we if we don't win tonight. Yeah, they'll sack him tomorrow. You know, what's your score so, prediction? Realistically. Maybe realistically, just realistically, deep down, <laughs> to be honest. 2-0, two, 3-0 two Brighton. Fair enough. I just can't see where the goals are coming from. Yeah, same here. Um, and Vieira will just put out the team and play the way that he's always been playing. And there's nothing, no different.
save, it's for your own goal. Oh, he's got a score. Keep it ever, Brighton. Made a top save. Oh, man, got to be taking more of the chances, man. Short target, Edward. Comfortable save by the keeper there for Brighton. Man, short on target. Short on target. Short on target. Short on target. so well with like the first 15 minutes as well. Oh, they have one decent chance to take it with us. Like 20 and then we take a chance, you know what I mean? Ridiculous man. Off the better team, and now we're just getting dominated for fun by Brighton. Absolutely taking us to pieces. Klein can't cross properly. Schlup giving the ball away. It's like the Palace of old, just starting off well and then just playing crap, getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. to Brighton and by the sounds of the Palace fans here you, can, you just know he's going to take it oh I thought Dunk so I thought Dunk was taking it <laughs> it's McAllister <laughs> half time 1-0 Brighton a few boos a few mixed responses but I don't know man it's played so well for 10 minutes they just fell apart after going a goal down and let Brighton dominate us for fun. So I can say, but a goal down again. Simply just same old Palace. I mean, I don't know what we're going to do second half. He's got to change up. He's got to bring a man on for Schlup. Schlup style bollocko. Edouard's doing all right. He needs to be a bit more confident in his finishing. Had chances not taking them. So has got to get better. He's tracking back. Dad, what, what did you make of that, honestly? First 10 minutes, we was intense. I thought he was really good. And I thought, blimey, he's back at the old Crystal Palace. And then um, we fell off, you know, and they went 1-0 up. Um, we're getting overrun in the middle of the pitch. Um, you know, we was creating some good chances in the first. I've had in the first 10 minutes, but apart from that, the rest of the game, you know, we've, we've been poor again. But I think Vieira is trying to be a bit more positive, and of course, that's left us a little bit more exposed at the back. And they've been Too able, exposed, you know. And when Brighton got the ball, you know, we, we got really vulnerable, and we've been giving the ball away as well sometimes, you know. But it's only one nil, so we're still in the game. You can see I've moved currently into a better spot for me and that. Getting them up to the action a bit, but he's made one stop. Uh, the Kure off as he was already put. Should have been set off for the first half. And on comes Eze. The way we started off the second half and what the first six minutes has been absolutely disgusting. No ambition, no drive. Standing around like a bunch of spiders. Absolutely. We've had enough, man. They score a second and the big things don't improve. I mean, oh, the, light, the lights have gone out. <laughs> the lights have just gone out. Blimey. The lights are going on and off. Flipping out. Yeah, look. Oh, come on. Yeah, the power's gone off. <laughs> Oh, what is that? 
Right off to... Oh. Oh. First shot of the second half. Only positive so far in the second half. Shambles. Fucking hell, yeah. Brighton are making a mockery of us in this club right now. Oh, giving the ball away exactly again. Who the was that? Who was that? Flipping out. Rubbish. Not to Eze, I'll probably give it away. It's a header. Oh, she scored there. Flipping out. Jesus. Got some good news. Solly March has gone off. And they've had a nine minutes on at the end of the second half. What the hell are we going to do? I will not know because we're playing like a bunch of spineless little donkeys. Don't no hope. Please don't I'll be so hit shocked it. if we score from this. It'd be unbelievable. Oh, yeah. oh, I wasn't wrong about that. Absolutely disgraceful. Right, gave the ball away from the back. A mad shot went wide. Wilf kicked it out for a throwing. Prevented it from going out of the goal kick. That's it. I think that's it. Right. Come on! Oh, piss. You are joking. What one? Just spineless ball job. Spineless. Oh, good. Fucking hell. What about the penalty? Disgraceful bunch of spineless sore losers is as simple as that bunch of sore spineless losers Embarrassing man, you know the, the funny thing is is we actually played well for the first 10 minutes and we were by far the better team Then we go go down with Brian having their first attempt on goal in the game And we just go back to our old ways back to square one playing like a bunch of morons That's down to Vieira that you know partially that's down to the players because they're crap, they're not Premiership standard and they're not good enough. Simply one bit. The only player who actually showed a bit of passion and desire was our goalkeeper, Whitworth. Joe Whitworth. Young, 19-year-old Joe Whitworth. His first ever Premier League...
debut for Crystal Palace. He wasn't even an outfield player. I mean, he's well, he's not even an outfield player, I should say. And he showed more passion than I want than than, than the players outfield. You've got to feel sorry for him. It's embarrassing, man. End to end, I mean, going forward, shambolic, no quality, can't he? Couldn't even pass the ball between us. You know, struggle to dribble, playing backwards and sideways, being all negative. I don't even think we had a shot on target in the second half. It's funny because we played worse in the second half than we did in the first half. Because the first half, we managed some shots on target. I mean, it's, it's an absolute disgrace. You know, the audacity for them players to play like that, especially in the second half, against Brighton away and think it's acceptable and come over and thinking the fans are going to applaud them. I watched them towards the end of that game. If you've just seen the vlog, obviously. Well, obviously you have seen the vlog. I mean, for Christ's sake, this is in the vlog. <laughs> this is me having a full ramp because of how shit we are, you know. The way the players came over to us, they were shocked. They looked absolutely in dear shocked that we were just giving them all of this abuse and all of this, the booing and everything. And it's what they get. It's what they deserve for having one win in 16. It's what they deserve for being winless in 2023. It's what they deserve for previously not managing a shot on target or not even scoring in four successive Premier League games. That's why the fans turn on the players. I mean, no shit. You have Palace fans in front clapping the players after watching that crap. After this wretched and treacherous run that, we, that we've that we had to endure so far in 2023. Or even since after the World Cup with one win in 16 for Christ's sake, man. I mean, come on. And you're going to stand there and clap the players. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be embarrassed. It's pure delusion. It's an absolute, dis it's an absolute joke. And it's just jarring. It's absolutely just pathetic, man. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of watching the same thing week in, week out. I'm tired of Fiera's crappy tactics. He's absolutely delusional. He's out of his depth. He's lost the dressing room. He doesn't even care anymore. He's got no passion about him one bit. Players aren't fighting for him at all. They stopped playing for him. You know, the only reason we're not in the bottom three is because, <laughs> it's because of the way we started off this season and that. You know, we're actually winning some games at home. I mean, for Christ's sake, we're like three points above the bottom three now. It's like three or four points above the bottom three, I mean, or away from relegation. I mean, there's your indication how close we are to potentially falling into the bottom three, potentially by the end of this week, end of this month. Embarrassing, man. Absolutely embarrassing. This club is in the mud. This club is in the bin. It's a disgrace. Everything about it stinks. From the board, to the manager, to the player's mindset and attitude, to the admin, to us flipping sharing a car park with flipping Sainsbury's for Christ's sake. I mean, that says it all, don't it? You know, this club is an absolute dump piece of garbage right now, man. I feel embarrassed to be a Palace supporter right now with a team that plays crap football, you know, who are an awful football inside, man, after watching that it's embarrassing, it's pathetic and it's diabolical and I've had enough. Vieira out, sack him now. We don't sack him, we're going to get relegated. It's as simple as that because he's lost the dressing room. He's absolutely clueless, doesn't have a single clue what he's doing regarding his tactics, regarding managing the team, regarding his setup. Hasn't got a plan B, doesn't even know what he's doing. He's a lost puppy. It's as simple as that. He needs to go, he needs to get out of my club right now. It's as simple as that. So I'll see you a lot for the Arsenal game Sunday. I can't even I can't even be optimistic for that. I can't even be optimistic for any game between now and the end of the season. I've got no hope with this team one bit. No confidence in it anymore. Can't win, can't score, can't even flip a manager draw. So yeah, see you a lot in the next video. You bunch of spineless little so and so. You should be ashamed of yourselves, you bunch of mugs, honestly. Had enough of this club, man. Need to make some changes. We don't do it now. We're not gonna be in the premiership at the beginning of August.